Hello friends and welcome to the first of our words of encouragement for Holy Week. Thank you for joining me again today. Now Revelation chapter 1 verse 18 says, I died but look I am alive forever and ever. Now the fact that Jesus rose from the dead isn't what makes him unique because the Bible records seven other resurrections. Jesus was number eight, the biblical number for new beginnings. And, but in two amazing ways, his resurrection was unlike any other. And I'd just like to share those with you today. The first one, his was the only resurrection that was spoken about in advance. In Psalm 16 verse 10, David prophesied of Jesus, for you will not leave my soul among the dead or allow your Holy One to rot in the grave. And Isaiah foretold life for him after his crucifixion in Isaiah chapter 53 verse 10, where it said, the Lord made his life a penalty offering, but he will still see his descendants and live a long life. He will complete the things the Lord wants him to do. And Jesus himself spoke about his resurrection from death in Matthew chapter 16, verse 21, where he said, where it says, Jesus began to explain to his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem, be killed, and on the third day be raised to life. So that's the first thing. And the second thing is only Jesus raised himself from the dead. His enemies thought he was a helpless victim of their efforts to eradicate him and his mission. But they were wrong. Jesus said in John chapter 10 verse 18, no one can take my life from me. I sacrifice it voluntarily, for I have the authority to lay it down when I want to, and also to take it up again. All of Rome's power and the hatred of his Jewish persecutors could not eliminate Jesus. And he didn't need help. In his death and in his resurrection, he was always in charge. John chapter 2 verse 19 says, Destroy this temple, my body, and in three days I will raise it up. And he did. That's why this coming Sunday we can celebrate that he is alive. So why don't you take down all the decorations like posters, photos, ornaments or whatever in one of your rooms and hide them away and then spend some time in that bare room reflecting on Jesus' resurrection. Let's pray. We'll say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen.